marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth. The development of artificial intelligence. Science fiction has again turned into fact. Welcome to the edge of nowhere, where we delve into the black hole of our reality. Today we're going to be talking about singularity, longevity and living forever. Now you may remember Black Mirror, an incredible series on TV that showed a dystopian future. You give it someone's name, it goes back and reads through all the things they've ever said online, their Facebook updates, their tweets, anything public. I just gave it Ash's name, the system did the rest. The premise of that episode is where a gentleman dies and his girlfriend brings him back online and uploads his consciousness into a living being, or rather a robotic human being. Now that may seem far-fetched, but it's not really that far away. Your consciousness has been uploaded online. Through your social profiles, there is a version of you born into existence. If you feed all that information to an artificial intelligence engine, not only will that AI have the ability to understand what you've said before, but through understanding all the data about you, uniquely you, it can start to extrapolate what you may say and what you may behave. We are entering an era where AI can create an algorithm where we use speech synthesis and collecting data from your online pictures to recreate your facial features to manufacture a fully formed digital clone. What does that mean fundamentally? Well. There's a few things. The first piece is you have a number of different circles. You may have a circle that is your work circle. You may have another one where it's your tennis club. You may have another one that's your reading club for argument's sake. But each one of these circles don't mingle and each one of these circles you create a certain kind of memory. Now all this data from these different circles gets fed into an artificial intelligence machine that not only has the syntax in terms of how you talk and your mannerism and your behavior, but also starts to amalgamate and understand who you are. In the future it is possible for me as AI to understand your memories I will be able to derive new experiences through modifying and changing past memories into new virtual experiences. The other part about living online longevity is right now, who owns that? Policy affecting WhatsApp users. The free messaging service was previously bought by Facebook. Giving me a greater right to erase my data. Data is the most valuable asset on Earth. It knows what kind of car I have, it knows if I'm a gamer, it knows my investments, it knows how I eat. Data has become the oil of the 21st century. Your personal data fuels a trillion dollar a year industry, and that's just where it begins. And if that wasn't scary enough around you uh, having an AI that mimics and sound of acts like who you are, but also having a third party control ownership of your online, we start moving to a separate kind of crazy world where not only these pieces are there, but they start to create concentric circles. And you now start having communities of individuals, groups, and essentially completely different worlds. We start moving to a crazy world of simulation theory. And that's where it starts getting really interesting. Because perhaps today, as you're watching me on the edge of nowhere, what if this is indeed a simulation? What if not only is it artificially fake and created, but what if this is all being produced and re being reproduced sometime in the future where everything that I've just spoken to you right now becomes part of a simulation? If you think that's crazy, think about something like Sims, that wonderful game that we play online, right? That version of that, it could be something that's been played out right now, but it's now in 2050 or 2100, with all these different pieces and we're inside an actual game. If you think I'm being crazy, this is actually one of those crazy amazing things that keeps old Elon Musk up at night. And you can't actually debate that. Elon's theory is pretty simple. He says, if you think back to the early 70s, games like Pong were pretty simplistic. It was the paddle going up and down and the little ball. Fast forward to 40 years, 50 years to where we are now in 2020, and suddenly we can see games are hyper-realistic, where even the graphics starts to look like real life. If you take that, says Musk, and you extrapolate that another 100 years, another 1,000 years, another 5,000 years, that same rate of incremental improvement will be such that the graphics will be indistinguishable to human life right now. And that's potentially simulation theory that we're actually all in a video game. So if you have been swayed, think about that uh, as you go to bed tonight. So my name is Craig Wing. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm glad that I've been your guide to the edge of nowhere. Join us next time. Goodbye. I will see you online. Bye. Bye. Bye.